Hi everyone, this is Gyo again. Today's lecture is Neural Report. Neural Report is a function that selects the measured results and the input in Excel. Data can be processed quickly, which increases the work efficiency. So you have to install Microsoft Office as in 32-bit version. To use Neural Report, run Excel Report in the Option menu to import the Excel file. And if you already have created a form for your working place, you can easily move and copy paste that sheet to Neural Report by this order. So the method of importing the measured result into Excel is using the NMR function. And there are two types of function, NMR and NMR2. So NMR function can be called with the measured number and the function and the file number. An NMR2 function can be called with features name and the function the file number. So there are various function you can choose to fill in the cell as an NMR and NMR2 function. The list of function is on this function list sheet. So take a look at this function list sheet. For example, the measured value of x is x. And then the nominal value of x is nx. And upper tolerance for x is ux. And lower tolerance for x is lx. Deviation, dx. Evaluation AX. In order to apply Neural Report, go to the Option menu and click Excel Report, and the Excel will execute it. And then after that, the saved file is imported into the Excel file by specifying the file path. Then the items of the saved file are listed, and if you select the file, to apply from the among those items, the information of the file will be transferred to the file table sheet. Then fill in the form using NMR function. In case of NMR function, it is actually recommended to use the NMR2 function because the measurement result number can be changed through DMIS modifications and editing. Let's have a practice. I'm going to make an inspection report right now. And this is example file. And there's this result. And I'm going to import circle 1 and circle 2 data to our neural report. So go to option menu and then click Excel report. The neural report is ready. First, uh, specify the pile path. Click the icon, and then set the path. And you can see the list of the NMP files. So either way, you can click the select all to transfer to the selected files, or delete all just like that, and just click it and select. And then choose your form. But since we don't have any of form, I'm going to use the form 1 and click run. Now you're looking at the form 1. So first, let's look at the sheets. So on the table sheet, the file table, at the uh, file number 1, the test NMP is loaded. And let's go to the function list. So I'm going to choose X, Y, and D to transfer the data of circle 1 and 2 from the test NMP file. And let's go back to form 1. So you can see the NMR and NMR2 function on the right top of the screen. And I'm going to use NMR2 function to bring the circle 1's data. So first, I'm going to bring up the uh, nominal value. 
type in equal nmr2 left bracket double quotation mark since it's the text and cr1 and double quotation mark again comma double quotation mark again and then nx and again double quotation mark and comma and then type in file one then right bracket to close and then enter now you can see 20 the nominal value imported and then the output tolerance same as the year before but this time i put ux instead of nx okay but this takes long time to fill up all the cells by one by one like this but if you use relative and absolute reference function on excel it can reduce the amount of time for making a report form like this i'm going to show you a quick shortcut for creating absolute references and you can use this when you're typing or editing a formula so first of all what is an absolute reference an absolute reference is a cell reference that stays locked on on a specific cell or cell range even if formula is copied the second of all sort out the items that you want to fill in type in cr1 three cr1 since i'm going to make x and y d values And I just enter the, all the items that I want to transfer. And then I'm copying the same voting out again right below the uh, CR1. And then type it equal file one. And it's, it loads itself the test NMT file. type it nmr2 and bracket and choose the cell of cr1 and then comma and then choose the cell of nx comma and then the test nmp file cell and then close the bracket and now what you need to do is the function of absolute references so for example we just put it in the formula that uses the NMP file cell, which is the I24 cell. So we all want to make it an absolute reference to ensure that any copies of this formula are still looking at the same NMP file. But also, uh, the, in order to the item of values, such as nominal tolerances, actual value deviation and evaluation, we're going to use the relative references and absolute references. Generally, the way to do this is to type a dollar sign before the column letter and row number. But there is a faster way. So just press the F4 key at the top of your keyboard. This will automatically add both dollar signs with a single keystroke. So you can also press F4 more than once, which is will cycle through different types of cell references. And this is useful if you only want to lock the row or the column. Now you will see the example. So I click the uh, I25 cell and press the F4 once and it locks column and row at the same time. But if I press once again, it only locks either column or row. 
So I'm going to make the CR1 as an only locking the I column and then J25 gym lock function. Since I want the column and row free, I'm not going to lock anything. And then for the last the file number, which should be locked in the both column and row, so both dollar signs in front of it. So now formula is done, we can drag the fill handle to copy this formula to empty cells. So drag to the right and drag to bottom. Now all these cells filled up automatically in a very short time compared to typing in manually each one by one. I hope this was very useful for you and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.